Well, I know that you know the drill, but for anybody else that's tuning in, uh, this is the Citadel server. It's where myself and some friends do some geeky stuff in Minecraft. My name is Joel Duggan, and today we're going to be doing some path stuff. Uh, Cosmic Dancer has been busy building a flower farm in the South Meadow, and I want to help her out and get her a decent path. I know Matcast has already started. But I'm just checking to see that we've got some dirt. We do. I don't think I need all this wool with me, though. So I'm going to toss some of this up in here. Uh, I think maybe we'll just shuffle a few things around here. Try to move as much of this as I can. I don't know where else to put all this wool. Do I have spaces? I don't think I have spaces. Maybe in the carpet? Oh, yeah, okay. I've got spaces in my carpet chest that I can put some of this extra wool here. Beautiful. That gives us a nice half empty shulker box or almost half empty shulker box to work with. Shovels at full capacity. And I don't think we're going to really need much more. Uh, maybe some coarse dirt might be good to bring. Do I have some of that? I do. Let's bring a couple stacks of coarse dirt. I think I'm going to try something different with the path today. Hey, there's Jared TLZ. Cosmic Dancers here. Hello, hello. So I'll let you guys in on a little bit of a sneak preview. Uh, oh, for Joel. What's this? Hey, block of coal. I got chocolate chips and I got chocolate chip cookies. Thank you from Cosmic Dancer. Sweet. I'm going to take some cookies. I don't need any, any right now, but they'll, there shall be... There shall be cookie munching later. Thank you. That's very cool. Uh, anyway, as I was saying before, I was distracted by a sign that said cookies for Joel. Uh, I spent a little bit of time this afternoon recording with Fixit. Uh, you can check him out on YouTube. It's uh, two X's and two T's. Uh, or if anybody in the chat wants to do uh, exclamation point Vasten, V-A-S-T-E-N, you will find out exactly what I will be up to uh, in the next couple of months. I'm going to be playing on a new Minecraft server. It's not going to be a lot of time. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of coming on in a, in a minimal capacity, uh, but we are going to um, work on some big community builds. It's a really unique server. So chances are the announcement videos won't go out until Tuesday, but this is a little bit of a teaser. Uh, you will get more visuals and more information uh, on Tuesday. But for now, uh, know that I'm going to be uh, doing a lot of streaming content uh, or some of my streaming content, I should say, is going to be... Did we lose a tree? Uh, some of my streaming content is going to be from Vastin as well as the Citadel. So, should be cool. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with, with Vastin, but it's uh, it's got a lot of lore behind it. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to. There's a very uh, heavily custom texture pack that goes along with it from uh Jersey boy and so i'm still getting used to what is what in that world uh i actually had the texture pack on in this world for a little bit just to kind of see see how things look it's really different really cool paths and really cool dirt and texture blocks but uh, for now it's uh we're going to stick with the the default uh well i shouldn't say default this is the beta texture this where most of the, what we're looking at here is 3.1 from from moyang but uh so I don't think this is final. I'm pretty sure that Matcast just put this in as a as a temporary bridge because I'd like to do something here. Um, and then he's also got this path on the other side. And I was flying over this earlier and it looks really cool. Do I have rockets? I hope I didn't come all the way down here with no rockets because that would be that would be bad. What does the rocket box say? Rocket box says we're fine. Cool. So uh, let's take a little little swoop around and we'll see what we're going to be up to today. Wells just did a tour of Vastin. You are correct. That is how I found out about it. That is how I got in touch with Fixit. Uh, and um, this is also going to be announced tomorrow, but Fixit is going to be a guest on the Spawn Chunks podcast. Not tomorrow, but the following week. Dece December 10th, I think. So it looks like Matcast has built a couple of bridges. Maybe we can... Maybe we can park ourselves on one of these trees here and take a look. So we've got a couple of bridges here. 
I really like that we're expanding the meadows south that we've got this all this stuff happening here but uh, there's a path that goes this way I actually don't know how far that goes uh, and then it turns around this way what I wanted to do today was define the edge of this sugarcane field that I wanted to make so that's going to involve uh, smoothing out the river uh, maybe continuing the river so it goes underneath these bridges and stuff you can see where it was supposed to be but then there's all this like the water in Minecraft just stopped so we're going to fill that in probably going to fill in some of these little little ponds and stuff because we don't need them and then maybe get to the planting the sugar cane i'm not sure if we'll get that far because this is going to change i don't like this road and i'll show you why in just a second but all of this is to um to kind of lead people over to this village because cosmic dancer is doing a lot of work over here she's got a flower factory and some stables and so all the stuff that she's been working on over here it didn't feel connected to the meadows so we wanted to kind of make it feel uh connected in a way so i think i'm going to do a path like right here along the edge uh, and then people can either go on one side of the bridge or the other and i'll connect it up to maccast's path and then it'll it'll all seem like it's uh pretty cohesive now where did this path go this one over here i don't know how far south Matcast went with this. Cool. And that's heading towards this village here. So I think what we might do, something that I had kind of envisioned for this area was putting the path in some of the low-lying places, like all through here, and then have the other um, flat areas be fields. So maybe we'll do fields of different kinds of crops. I want to see if I can figure out how to do a field of coral. I don't know technically how I'm going to work that yet. We will figure that out. But let's just sleep, get rid of the, the nighttime, and then we'll start sorting out that uh, that riverbed. Only sleep at night. I guess it's not quite night. Vanilla Raccoon, hello. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, I won't say anything much about what's happening on Vastin just yet. Uh, I will do, I have a little an announcement video recorded. Uh, I'll do a little bit of editing over the next couple days, and then you will be able to um, follow the links of all the other players on the server. There's eight people in total uh, besides me, and I'm kind of coming on as like a, I'm not exactly sure how to say it. I'm kind of like a casual, I'm not going to have a ton of time, and I let them know ahead of time, uh, but everybody else is really raring to go. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. Uh, Ninny is there, Jermsy boy. Uh, I'm going to forget people because I only just met them today. So it's going to be uh, difficult to remember everybody's name off the top of my head for at least a little while. But uh, once we get everything sorted, then I'll be, I'll be able to share a lot more about the plans. But I'll just consider this a teaser for now, I guess. All right, so we've slept. Joel needs coffee. And now... On to the dirt mining, as exciting as that sounds. Um, I'm not going to bother with this section, I think, for now. I think it's more important to have kind of like from here west sorted out because I want the edge of this bank to be quite steep. So I think we have to figure out how we want this river to curve because right now it's looking very default Minecraft generated. So let's maybe put down... A little home base here. Let's do this, and I'm sure I've got a bed somewhere. And I've got dirt. I'll bring this shulker box with me, or actually, maybe I'll just place that there. I've got a funny feeling that when you put stuff next to beds, though, that it messes with them, so let's just do that. And I don't think I'm going to need extra torches or anything else. I think that should be good. It's gonna be really straightforward. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll put out my sandbox as well. This is probably gonna be a lot of sand collection. And let's just do a little bit of, a little bit of light because I don't think there's a lot of light around here. Sweet. I've got buckets and stuff on me. Good to go. Brownie bits, maybe. Uh, it's hard to say. There, um, Fix it got a lot of uh, got a lot of applications after he did the Wells Night tour, and so there's a there's a 
there's a vast and dimensions, which is a different server. And then there's the, the vast and proper, which is the one that I'm on. So, so I like that the curve of the river is right underneath us here. And I feel like that lines up. So I don't want to mess with that too much, but I do feel like this is pretty steep. So maybe we'll do two there. I'm okay with cutting into the hill a little bit too. Two there. And maybe at this point, we can start to move things around. Oh, thanks, Jared. Um, I've been itching to do bigger builds and I just don't have the time. And I talked about it with um, with Pixel Riffs actually about uh, on, you know, some doing something with regards to spawn chunks, but like neither one of us have got the time, even for the two of us to get together and try to do a joint a joint build. It's just we don't have time to add yet another Let's Play. So what I find really interesting about about the Vastin server is that everything is community. Uh, it even takes a little bit of mental uh, adjustment to realize that every chest is yours and every chest is theirs, right? Like so, everybody in the community can can just pool resources and and do that kind of thing. So I'm looking forward to kind of seeing what we can come up with. Uh, and I think what I should do is maybe have, this is going to be total noob zone here, but let's have something where we can get up just a little bit higher. Kind of see where this is curving. Well, I guess we'll have to go a little bit higher here. Yeah, that's not too, too bad. I do maybe want to... Well, I can always build this up. That's the other thing too. We can build up the bank and have it be a little bit more, more prominent. Cause I feel like the path, the path could go along this way. I want it to veer off before you get to here. So I think maybe do something like this. Have it go out that. and then potentially curve back a little bit, maybe go up. I really like building paths. You guys haven't clued in. And then here, we might actually push it along the river just for fun, be more scenic. We'll come back and refine this a little bit later, but then I feel like right here is a good spot to connect to Mac, uh, to MacCast's path as well. So yeah, we might push it a little bit closer to the edge here, but we have to figure out where the river is going to be first. Yeah, that's one of the things that I liked about the server is like there's just so many dedicated people I have to fill that in too. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Cosmic Dancer. It's, uh, I'm going to try a dirt path. Uh, I got inspired by the screenshots that I took with Jermsey Boy's texture pack. And so instead of Instead of grass path like this, I think we're going to use uh, coarse dirt and we're going to have maybe some gravel, but a lot of this path is going to be coarse dirt along the top here, which I think will look really cool. Uh, but I think, I think I want this to be a little bit of a wider bend. I think I might have to take another flight here just to kind of wrap my head around it. I need to get some more slow fall potions so so viewing stuff from this angle is a little bit better. Yeah, that's not too bad. Maybe I don't need to mess with it too much. I like that it's kind of a snaky part of the river. So we'll we'll keep with this. So we've got some of this here, two, 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 and then a one. I think maybe we'll do another one there. And then here we can start to do pieces of bits of two. This is going this part here is going to be a hot mess. <laughs> that is for sure. Yeah, 
Yeah, the way that he did the dirt paths and and has the the overlapping texture is really cool. Let's see here. Uh, it's always difficult to do this stuff when you're like looking right at it. Feel like at this point, I should probably start to curve the other way. One, two, three, four, two there. Just want to keep my dirt and coarse dirt separate. I think at this point, actually, we could probably get away with doing three. Three, one, two, three. I'm sort of making myself dizzy. If this is getting to anybody else, then let me know, because <laughs> we might have to adjust how we do things. Uh, Cosmic Dancer, you'd be curious to know that I added one of the commands that you and I were speaking about. So there's an, there's two extra Nightbot commands. There's the Vastin one, and then there's another one. Let's just get a couple stacks of dirt here. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of lag, like a frame rate lag, but not too much. Hmm. I feel like this could be, the river could be a little bit wider. So maybe we don't quite go up this far. Might be just easier to just rip this all out and then just go and place it block by block. Let's see. I haven't done a riverbank in a long time. Okay. See how that looks now. I feel like there's going to be a lot of up and down. I should probably just put ladders on this pillar. That would be the smarter thing. So yeah, curve there, curves around this way, and then it starts to curve back. Yeah, I think that's okay. I think we're okay. But let's be smart. Uh, Pretty sure ladders are in the tree box. They are indeed. Probably do this before the sun goes down. Cheers, Jared. Thanks for stopping by. I think this should be high enough. You know, I'm not a big fan of the scaffolding. <clears throat> in this case, it would probably be useful, but I do not really care for the new scaffolding block. I shouldn't say it. It's, it's not like I dislike it. It just, I'm kind of meh on the whole thing. Playing some other games besides Minecraft while listening. Oh, cool. What are you playing? I wish I had time to play more video games. I really only ever seem to have time in my life for one. I've been waiting to see if um, Stardew Valley is going to go on sale. because I feel like that's a pretty chill game. And when I do want to change a pace for Minecraft, that might be the way to go. Uh, let's see here. So we want to start curving this back the other way. So three, I guess from here we can do two, another two. 
two, two, one. Now let's do more ones. I'm just trying to have like a gentle, gentle curve to this. And I don't mind if we go up against the side here. For going to be on the server, there's a giant ravine down this way. I marked it with a torch here a few weeks ago. Go and check that out if you're looking for something to explore. It's a free game on Twitch Prime called Smoke and Sacrifice. Oh, cool. What's it about? I have never heard of it. So let's see here. Three, two, two. Let's do one, one, and then two, I think. No, let's go farther. We'll come back and fix the water and stuff later. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. Two. It's like a 2D hand-drawn Minecraft variant with a kind of touching story. Oh, that actually sounds really cool, Astro Jake. Hey, Matcass, what's shaking, man? I'm trying to give your bridges something nice to look at. Guess there's no point in going too much further because the water doesn't reach. So let's see here, we got uh, two, two, another two, and then let's say we'll do three here. This is good because I wanted this, I wanted this bank to be steep and we're starting to get into some, some stone here. So I think this will look look good kind of like it's carved away so three and then we'll do another maybe five here this will take a lot of work but we'll come back to that it gets us kind of the edge of our, our sugar cane, which is what I really wanted. I feel like some of this could be put back. So, one, two, three. Settings, finally able to capture stream live on YouTube. So thanks, yeah, I'm glad that you pointed that out. Um, and hi, uh, nice to see you. Uh, I have been chopping up these streams and posting them as, as little mini VODs. So like a three hour stream ends up being about six episodes on YouTube. How do people feel about that? I'm hoping it's more bite size. Astro Jake says, you play a mom who sacrificed her firstborn son. Uh, but actually sent her son underground and forced labor. She only learned that seven years later. Oh wow, that's intense. That doesn't sound that doesn't sound at all like Minecraft. <laughs> or do you mean it's like Minecraft in just the gameplay? I'm waiting to watch your daughter's school production. Oh cool, Christmas Carol. I like a Christmas Carol. That's just the intro portion. Wow, that's intense. So yeah, I'm liking I'm liking this side of the river. Obviously, we've got to, this is gross. We will have to sort that out. But we're kind of pushing it back around the corner here. So I think I'll finish that curve, and then we'll kind of come back and try and make this 
look a little bit more streamlined. And that way we can build up the edge and know where the sugarcane farm is going to go. It's going to be a lot bigger than I thought, but that's okay. Cause that, that was the whole idea was to do a big, a big farm or a big field. It's not, we're not going to harvest it. It's just meant to look, look cool. <laughs> yeah. Make those bridges look cool. He says, I think we can do something. I want to, I want to have like an arch. I think we can do something here, maybe with some supports and stuff like that. Um, maybe I'll do one and then you can do the other Matt cast and that way, that way you can make it your own, do all kinds of cool stuff. I haven't finished the underside of the inn either. I realized that last time when I was talking about it being done, that the inn is not, the inside of the inn is finished, but the outside is not. Why am I eating chicken when I have cookies? Oh, wow. Cause cookies only refresh one hunger. <laughs> That's why. Oh, cool. That's neat that if it's free, if you've got Prime. I do not have Prime. I don't buy enough stuff. Uh, so three, three, two. I think we'll do another two, but maybe with dirt, grass. Oh, maybe not that far. I think maybe this is going to be Gonna go around the corner here, so maybe this is two, three, four, five. I feel like this is gonna be a little bit more narrow, and that's fine. People aren't not really gonna see it that much. Terry Holmes, welcome. Thanks for the follow. I still can't get those sounds to play in my recordings. They play, I don't, can you guys hear a chime when someone follows or is it just a visual? So we've got two, two, and then it's down to one. So one, 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 we'll say another one, and then two, and then one, two, three, like that. Okay, I think that'll kind of lay down the basics. It's still pretty ugly down this side, but that's okay. So the other side, just the visual. Okay, cool. Thanks, Astro Jake. Appreciate it. How'd you find the stream, Terry? You just hanging out on Twitch or come from the spawn chunks? Maybe my YouTube channel? Always curious. I'm not sure if we're going to keep the sand or not, but for now, cover some of this up. Yeah, I used to have a chime and I can't decide if I like it or not. If I have this, the chime in the stream for you guys to hear, then it will also be in the YouTube recording and I kind of like it to not be. So it's kind of a, a push. I still hear the chime in my headphones. So I think that's the most important thing. Uh, how, how wide do we want this to be? I think I have to get up on the pillar again decide how wide I want this to be at this point. I feel like it has to be wide enough that it's worth bridging, right? Like that's the, that's the thing. Two days ago, just had a feeling to play Minecraft and again, you did and then you found this to watch. Cool. Well, welcome. Sorry if I butchered your message, kind of reading while playing is always a little bit difficult. So yeah, I think maybe we take it right down to that second layer. I think we need to widen that so it looks like it's it's something that was worth bridging. So right back to there. So I guess first step we just clear off that whole that whole bottom layer. That's easy. Whoop. Elytra did not activate. Hello to future people. 
Oh, that's right. The chat pops up on the screen. <laughs> so far, that's been a successful thing. I feel like it adds a little bit of context to, uh, to the builds. Oh, geez, there's like a, is there a whole cave down here? How far does this go? Okay, not super far. That's okay. That's good to know. We'll have to fill that in, I think. So we were taking it right down to this layer, I think. Thought I had the music turned on for Minecraft, but I guess I don't. Music and sounds. Those are probably at like 20. No music is on. It's just not playing. I wish there was a way to to increase the frequency at which the music would play. I only mess around in creative when I'm trying to test stuff out, uh, Terry. I uh, I generally prefer. I just sneezed and nearly blew everybody's eardrums but i managed to grab the mute button just in time <laughs> wow i don't sneeze very often that caught me by surprise okay so i think after we've got this we have to now kind of come along here and do this one other layer There's something really satisfying about kind of end game shovel mining. It's very, very, very satisfying. Thank you, Cosmic Dancer. I appreciate it, and so does my nose. Chat room on stream is really delayed. Hmm. Oh, like the visuals? Yeah. That's because it's gotta it's gotta go through Streamlabs, and then it's going to go up on my screen and then it's going to show up on your screen so yeah i know there's a there is a delay um the good news there is that there's usually a delay between me seeing a comment and actually responding to it so sometimes on the youtube video it actually ends up being about right so i think that's roughly wide enough so let's go check this again uh, i am going to have to take a very very short uh, break just because I think I'm going to sneeze again, but I, I'm just going to get up on the top of this pillar. I'm not even going to put a, the, the be right back screen. I'm just going to excuse myself for just a few seconds here. Mm -hmm.